So, hey, hi, hi everyone. This is Russell, Russell Follas, again for this uh, new live. I don't really want to be long on this live, but I want to show you something, something that I think uh, I just don't want to do a one on one with my customer. Okay. So, um, one of the customers, I did a one on one with him, but he didn't want me to share the whole one on one here. So, I'm going to repeat the process with you. Okay. I did a one-on-one -on -one so many times with so many other customers uh, to actually guide them into, you know, um, requesting or responding to the invitation of claiming the 10,000 grand. As a reminder, everybody who applied for the applied for the EIDL should normally be eligible for the 10,000 grand. Just, just a reminder, whether you receive the money or you didn't receive the money. Whether you were approved for your ERDL or they disapprove you or they deny you, okay? Whether you receive 1,000 or $100,000, you are eligible for this 10,000 grand. And how do you actually know that you will claim the 10,000 grand? Just, uh, just as a reminder again, the last time initially you were supposed to do nothing and just wait to receive the 10,000 grand in your bank account. In fact, it's the difference of 10,000 minus what you receive as advanced grant. Initially, when you apply for PPP, you were supposed to receive either, I mean, uh, the 1,000 that was the advanced. That 1,000 was added to what you actually supposed to receive. That means when you apply for the 10,000 for the ERDL, some people receive 60,000, some people receive 10,000, some people receive 15, some people receive 100,000, some people receive 200,000. Beside that money, that ERDL money, you were receiving the 1,000. So if you receive the 1,000, now they are saying that you should have received 10,000. So they are going to give you the balance, which is 9,000. If you receive uh, 8,000, they are going to give you eligible for 8,000, okay? So if you receive, I don't know, you just tell it, wh whatever amount you receive, you're supposed to receive the difference, uh, which is uh, 10,000 minus what you receive as a uh, advanced grant, okay? So now they say that in order to claim those money, you have to wait until they invite you to do so, okay? They have to invite, invite you to do so. If you don't get the invitation, you just have to wait. But everybody has, has to watch this because if you don't get the invitation, if you haven't received the invitation yet, you need to know what you are going to do once you receive the invitation. I know a lot of people didn't join this meeting because they didn't receive the invitation. They haven't received an email. Let me share what the email looks like. I can actually start sharing my screen right here. So you can see what the invitation actually um, looks like. Uh, why is that? Um, okay. I'm gonna share this invitation with you. This is my screen here. So this is what the invitation looks like, okay? So everybody should receive this. And I share with you, I share this with you on the last two videos. If you're watching this for the first time, that means you missed two important video, okay? Yeah, you missed two important video if you are watching it for the first time. Because I talk about this on the previous, on the video, and I talk about this on the last video that I was doing to say, this is what you are going to receive. And by the way, I also posted this in our Facebook group for the people who are a little curious about this. I posted this in our Facebook group. This is our Facebook group right here. If you look carefully, you will see this. Yeah, maybe you post a lot of things here. Uh, let me see. I posted this in this Facebook group. It will be somewhere here. Okay, it's right here. So it's right here, this letter, that everybody should actually see and see, look at what it looks like. Because 
Let me see if I can make it bigger. Okay, this is on my Facebook group. I just, you know, trying to hire the person who sent me, who sent me this so that uh, to protect his privacy and stuff like that. So this was posted in the Facebook group after I went to live talking about this to let you know, you guys know that this is what you need to watch for. Once, once you see this thing, then you're good. You're on good chat. Then you can do what I'm saying that you should do. Okay, so this is the right email. This is in my email box. It was was transferred to me by this person, and we are going to use it. We are going to use it for our example. Okay. Um, let me see here. Uh, yes, I hope you guys have questions because whether it's for this or any question regarding the PPP, ERDL, loan increase, loan reconsideration, and so on. Because sometimes it's not really easy to actually get us to answer those questions, especially if you are not on the schedule. If you didn't schedule an appointment, you just want to call to say, hey, I received this, what do I do? Most of the time on this webinar, I'm explaining what you're going to do. So if you have those questions and you are watching all the video that I'm posting in within this Facebook group right here, you should normally be okay. You should be okay if you watch the video, especially the videos, not the post, normally the video. I have two of these. I have two different uh, similar uh, Facebook group to for PPP and ERDL. Yeah, you should actually watch this video. For example, I was explaining almost the same thing right here. Okay, so um, I don't know how much how many people are present at this time. So we can we can actually go there and knowing that we're not going to repeat ourselves and not a lot of people are going to call me to answer the same question that we have been um, answering here, or maybe come late and uh, ask the question that was already done, that was already answered at the beginning of the live. So yes, uh, among you guys, how many people, how many people has received that email, this email right here? Who from you guys received this email? Nobody, no one? I think I, I received that email. Okay, that's good, Franklin. Yeah, who else you see that email? Yeah, if you haven't received the email, it doesn't mean you're not eligible. <laughs> so it doesn't mean you're not eligible. You have to wait, maybe up to, up to the end of this month, this month of February, before maybe you can start calling the SB to say, hey, what's up? Uh, everyone is receiving the, an invitation for COVID. So, what what Mr. is Russell, the Yes, the email come with the, it say it says uh, uh, target uh, uh, targeted. targeted. Yes, yes, yes that's I the email right there. Saturday with your loan number, application number. It says invitation to submit COVID nineteen yes. targeted EDL advance. Yes. Yes, that's the email I'm talking about. So everybody who applied for this should normally receive this email, okay? All of you guys actually should receive it. Whether you receive the money or no, don't say, oh, they denied me last time. Because like I said on the video I went on the live, I went on two days ago, I have a customer. I know because I was the one who applied for him. And I actually put one of my personal email on his application. And she received or he received the email and she was denied. Why? For uh, you know, residency reason. They say, okay, you didn't have the green card, you didn't have this proof of residency, you didn't deny you. I mean, the person is not even a, a legal alien, but they're sending him an invitation to come and claim the $20,000. Okay? That means like almost everybody should actually be eligible for this, but a lot of people are not going to see it until. They, we, they claim all the money and there's no more money left, okay? And that is when some people are going to be aware of it and they're going to call me, I'm going to say, go check this email, uh, targeted advanced at sba.gov. And they will go there and say, oh yeah, I received that on February, don't know, 28th, stuff like that. And I will say, okay, that's good. Not following what so we are doing. So no, no, how, a question. 
Yeah, I'm trying to ask uh, how long does it take to for them to reply whenever you send like a reconsideration, reconsideration letter? The, recon, the, the request for a consideration, normally when you send it, the same day you should receive and most of the time you should receive a, 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 an email like to acknowledge that they receive your your request. Now, yes. now it depends. It depends on who is going to handle your case because some people will receive sometimes two days or sometimes one day, they receive um, you know, a feedback about the reconsideration to, to let them know that, oh, yes, we receive it. It's in the process or we are processing it. This is what is missing. Okay, and they will actually even invite you into a new portal to actually go there and submit new document. I, I don't want to go into, uh, yeah, I didn't plan to go to do it, but for the reconsideration, sometimes they will even invite you to go into your portal. You know, when you apply for EIDL, they give you a link to actually, maybe if you didn't do it, maybe if I apply for you, maybe I did it for you to go into your account. But everybody knew that when you apply, you used to go into your account to see how much you're eligible for. And you can actually, you know, confirm or decrease the amount that you're eligible for. Yes, you will actually go back in there if they want you to submit those documents electronically. They will want you, they will ask you to do that. If they just want you to submit a document, maybe a new uh, 45060, now they will ask you to do so by just submitting by email. If they want you to upload it in the portal, uh, yeah, you will go back and log in into your account and you will see what is missing. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. This I is Saido. I, yeah, Saido. Yeah, I have a question. Can I, yeah. so can we apply both of them together at the same time? Apply the PPP, what? The PPP and the EIDL? Yeah, those are two different loans. Oh, okay. PPP and EIDL are two different loans. And okay. they are administrated differently. The PPP is given by the, the call it approved lender. It's a bank, actually, or any financial institution that is uh, approved by the SBA to do it. The ERG, on the other hand, is handled by the SBA themselves. That means the, those are agents, SBA agents, who will actually take, take care of your application and see what is missing and maybe email you to request what document is missing. Whereas the PPP is applied, is done by the bank. And you can apply so many PPP until you get approved. That's the difference between the EIDL. Is you cannot apply so many EIDL. When you apply two or three, they say, okay, we still have your one on fire. Let's process that one that we have on fire. Okay, or let's let's work do let's work up that one. That means you can actually just submit some documentation that is on the Facebook group to actually mm -hmm. work up the application that you did last time and that it didn't go through. And then we actually okay. start with processing it and give you the form. So okay. this is different between those two, uh, those two form, those two forms. And the other okay. thing is that the PPP, when you okay. are when you receive it, you can actually approve for apply for a um, for forgiveness. Okay. Then you don't have to pay it back. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, without further ado, let's go there and see when we receive this loan here, this email. This is the first thing you need to receive to uh, think about uh, getting your PPP yourself. So once, oh, I didn't share my screen. Can you, share, can you see my screen? No, right? I didn't know I didn't share the screen. Okay. Okay, okay, yes. So once you receive this, what do you do? So this is what you are going to do right here. You are going to click on this button, this green button. This is what I'm doing right now. Okay. You are going to put your social security right here. You are going to put your social security right here or the EIN number of your business. Okay. Um, now, at this time, I need to figure out where is the social security for this um, for this person specifically, the EIN or social security. So I'm going to close the um, uh, no, close the screen and stop the screen share so I can put your social um, and so all the EIN number of the business 
and go to the next step. So over here, you're gonna enter the social here and hit, uh, you know, hit here to go to the next page. Because this one, I don't think this is for him. You see, this is not his. This is for the previous person that was that we use here. It's not. It's a. This is a personalized and um, profile personalized link. Each link is for a specific person. Okay. So yeah. So give me one second here. I'm going to uh, uh, stop the screen so I can uh, figure out what the uh, what the social security is. Okay. And pull it back there. When I finish it, I can share the screen back. So we can continue because I don't want to share the social security right there. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I was able to get um, the right AI number to actually go into. Uh, let me share my screen now. Uh, to actually go into. Uh, yes, I have this now. So once you put your what is the uh, AI number? If it was a business or it's uh, social security, if your business doesn't have an EI number, okay, of course, that EI number or, or, or social security should be what you put when you were applying for it, okay? You know, when you are applying for a PPP or ERDL, sometimes they will ask you, you know, what is your, what is your EI number of the business? When you have a business, you will put the air number over here, over there. When you didn't have it, uh, an, when you didn't have a, an air number for the business, that means you are just a top Uber driver, or uh, maybe your hair salon. You don't have a business register. You just put your own social. Your social security. Over here, you have a social security. You have a air number. That is what we put in. Once you put in, you get to this area right here. What you need to do is to go here and read this carefully. Because one of the answer of this question can actually even disqualify you. Can we enlarge it a little bit? We can see. Okay. Can you guys see now? A little more. <laughs> a little more. Yes. It's full on the screen already. I think it's because you're on the phone. It's already. Yeah, yeah. I can see now. It's a full screen actually. Yeah. So over here, you see over here they say uh, important. Uh, update information. You have to read this, and it's a common sense. And you have to know why, what the answer could do to you. For example, are all owners of the application U.S. citizen, non-citizen nationals, or qualified alien? You need to think about the answer. <laughs> Let's say you are one of these people, right? Do you really want to go to click yes? No, go ahead, put no. Uh, let me see, are you uh, allowed, uh, are you all, uh, all owner of the applicant? Yes, you have to answer yes here. Because if you answer no, you are disqualifying yourself. Okay, you have to answer yes over here. Is any uh, principal of the applicant uh, with 50% or greater ownership interest more than six, 60 uh, dead delinquent? You know, you don't want to disqualify yourself. They even call it eligibility question. So if you go here and you say, yes, you are 60 days <laughs> delinquent on child support, you disqualify yourself. They didn't ask you to, to bring all the proof that you are not delinquent. That means somebody may even be delinquent, but you're going to put yes. I don't know if they have all the elements on him to know that he's delinquent or not. They are, they are just hoping that you're going to tell the truth, right? So. If you are dealing with, but this is uh, this are eligible, eligibility question, right? So in the past year, has any owner of um, of applicant been convinced of a felony? This other question: Do you want? Do you really want to say yes here? You know what is going to happen or what may happen? Russell, Russell, yes. a question number two. He said, "Is any." Any principal of the applicant with a 50% or greater ownership interest more than 60 days delinquent on child. Oh, the answer support. should be no. The answer yes. should be no. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. That means yes. you are that means you are following. That's I like it, man. Yes, yes. that is good. 
The answer here should be no. You don't want to say yes, you are delinquent, right? Yeah, the answer yeah. should be no. And has, uh, has applicant or owner uh, have ever been engaged in the position of the We do, let's do number three. Number three, in the past year, has any owner of applicant been convicted of a felony committed during and in connection with the route or civil disorder and other I can okay and other declare disaster that is no okay I got that it. should be no okay read the next yeah. one okay the next one is has applicant or owner of applicant ever been engaged in the production or distribution of any product or services or service that has been determined as to be obscene by a court of competent jurisdiction? Do you want to say yes here? You cannot say I'll yes. Say no. The answer is no. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, number five. It says, is applicant or owner of applicant currently suspended or debound from contracting with the federal government or receiving federal grants or loans? The answer is no. Okay. He says, as, as applicant or owner of applicant currently suspended. Okay, I understand. The answer is no. Number six. Number six will be, is any owner of the applicant currently in, in, in carry, in carry, that means, that means in are you under arrest, something like that? No. So okay. let's go to the next one. Incarcerated? No, yes. Incarcerated, no. Answer number seven. Is any owner of the applicant presently subject to an in 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 this meant criminal information arrange or other means by which former uh, no 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 you 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 move it. So basically, basically, uh, you're going to go through all of this and all the question when it looks like, uh, you know when you should say no, okay? We're not going to tell you what you're going to say yes or no. But the answer you put here may just disqualify you from everything. It's a subject criminal engagement politician. Just say no on everything that doesn't seem obvious to, the, to you. If they ask you, are you a US resident? The answer should be yes. If they want to know if you are in the politic or if you are, member of the Congress or stuff like that. You just need to say no. It's applicant on a state municipal. Yeah, anything that is doesn't seem obvious to you, just say no. So right now, according to what we are doing, it looks like uh, it's only number one that is yes. Yeah. Uh, it's African from shop or the different percent of this income. No investment lending investment. But maybe you could be and you could you could be in the lending investment. You're gonna say yes here because if you say no, all your financial data uh might show that you are doing are you lending people money? That's the question here. If you are lending money, of course your activity will say uh, you are a lender, something like that. Over here, you don't just have to say no because you want to say no. If you are on the lending, you have a bank, you, you know, you send money, you go, you lend money to people, you have to say yes. Yeah. How many employees do you have? 
this person was one employee, I think, to be sure. Uh, to be on the safe side, let me call him to ask him how many employees he claimed when he was doing his application. One. This one would depend what kind of uh, how many employment employees you have, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you share the application screen? Yeah. So this person received three thousand. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't only one thousand. And yeah, I think he has a payroll. So if if you have a payroll, when you put three thousand, you should have a payroll report. I can actually show the three thousand, the three people that are member of your business. Yes. So once you pass this step, you just go to continue. Okay. Over here. You're just going to confirm your information right here. Okay? You're going to confirm your information right here on this area. Yes. Once you confirm this information, this is what you see, you have edit here. Okay? You have edit. And on the last two email or webinar, I was telling you that you have to update information right here because if you have a new address and you leave this over here like this, you might lose something because if they ask you to provide maybe a proof of address or your driver license, this is a different address. You could be, it could, it could actually, you know, reduce or increase the time to process your application. And they are saying that if they miss something on your application, they won't come, they won't come back. This is what you put in your application. And you have to actually confirm if your phone number has changed, you have to go to edit here and change it. Okay, yeah, these are the information that you need to take care of. If your bank information changed, you have to go there and change the bank information. Otherwise, maybe some people close their bank, right? You don't even have the same bank. This is a time for you to put the new banking information. We just leave everything there. Uh, if they are able to do the, uh, you know, direct deposit, it won't, it won't go through, right? I have, I have. Um, a customer who actually get the money, they couldn't send the money. So the money went back to the to the government. So it was a new it was a new fight to get the money back because it went back. So they didn't know how to send the money. So this is the area where you have actually have to uh, update your information for them to be on the same page with you because they might actually ask those info those information again. If they ask for your driver license or for uh, your bank information. And uh, you're giving them different bank account, then is that are the one in here, it, it won't it won't match. This is the time you have to do that. Okay. So yeah, um I'm going to move the, very quick to go through. Uh yeah, the person received three thousand. We're able to see the three thousand right there. So we're going to move and go to the next one. Uh are this formal correct? Yes, you confirm yes here and we go to continue right here. So over here, this is the critical part. Okay, this is the most important part. Yeah, somebody has a question here. Yes, it's me. Yeah. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you, man. Yeah, I do, my brother. I'm okay, thank you. This is, this is Akinde, Akinde. Oh, Akinde, that's good, man. <laughs> yeah, how you doing, brother? I'm okay, I'm okay. I've been watching your session. You're doing a very good job, trust me. You're doing a thank good you, job. Thank you, man. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah. So I'm this sure. EIDL, I know mm -hmm. that um, as a yellow cab driver, you can apply for it, right? Sure. So um, what are the, like, I've, I've been following, I, I did not follow the first session, but mm -hmm. I missed that one. But this one, I watched it from the beginning. Yeah. So do we have to um, send our information to you just like the other one? Do, should we just send the information to you right away or because I don't think or we can do that by ourselves or what do you think? No, over here. Even though I have to do it, you need to know how it works, 
Okay. Okay. But you can actually do it. If some people have time, you have your computer, you have Microsoft Excel, a spreadsheet. You can put the numbers in there and see how they compare to each other to see the difference. Okay. So that you don't just put in any numbers that doesn't help you. For example, over here, the, you see what they want you to provide. This is the current year right here. They want you to provide all the year, all the months here, all the okay. year of your sales, of your activity here. Okay. For the whole, whole year. But they also want you to provide for 2019. Why? Because they want to compare to see. So is this is this like the financial statement that you helped me to do that time? Yes, that's the okay. financial statement. Okay. But I have your financial statement. Yes, oh, we have I'm it for you. That means I can actually give you the numbers, but I don't have all the 2019. Some so for some people, I don't have 2019 detail. I, okay. See, I, I can have I have I have the total. You can give me the total amount. I have okay. most of you guys. I have the total amount. I don't have the detail of every month for 2019, right? Most of the time, I have the 2019 maybe uh, double. Uh, what is called 1099. If 1099 is one is sixty thousand dollars, how do you break it down to put it in here the way that it makes sense? Okay, for 2019. Okay. okay. Right? So how do you break those 2019 numbers and put them in here the way that it will make sense? Yeah, okay. I have them. I compare them by quarter. But how are you going to break those in here so that it makes sense? That's the point. So, okay. but my question is: so, um, the financial statement that you did for me that time. Yes. So if, if we use, so we can still use that. You are going to use that. You okay. Use that. But over here, you're going to know how to break them down. Yes. Okay. You are going to see month, how to break them by down. Month. Month, month by month. by month. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I, use, I use it to compare quarter by quarter, right? Okay. Okay, okay, I get it now. I create quarter by quarter to show that the, the third quarter is was higher or less than the third quarter on the on the on the previous years. But over here, we're not pulling the numbers by quarters. We put the number by month by month. So what do you wanna put on January, February, March, all the way April. to December? Okay. okay. All right? So I'm going to break Russia, it down for you. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Since you brought this up, uh, it says uh, physical year yeah. 2020. You know, most of us, that the pandemic gets serious after March, April. There wasn't no activity probably going on in the business. So when you ask me January to March, I have uh, the income that I make from January to March. Yes. But on April, that is where the unemployment starts kicks in. So I have been on unemployment, which is uh, 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 my income is much lower now. You, you see, because the unemployment is my income after March. You know what I mean? So yes, yes. You that, that, you make that, that means that means you can act, you know you can actually know where you're gonna have uh, from which area the income is going to be low. Compared yeah. to the 2019, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, I have one more question. Uh, Nana Popo has a question too. Yeah, uh, Russell. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm taking you back to the EIDL. Yes. The EIDL, the uh, application for the reconsideration. Yes. Remember when we came there, I showed you the the letter I got from them for the reconsideration. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think I forwarded it to you to create an account. Yes. Did you do anything with it? Oh, for the reconsideration. Yeah. We didn't, we, I didn't recreate the account yet. For the reconsideration, as I told you over well, here that for the reconsideration, for some people, they will just ask you to just send a new document to them. For some people, they will ask you to actually go through there and create an account to upload the documentation to see what is in there or upload the documentation. Right. Okay. Yes, we're going to do that. It has it has no and no implication on this one. Yeah, I, I said that earlier. That's for some people they will want you to create 
uh, like a portal with the SBA uh, website to actually upload whatever you, they want you to upload there or see what they want you to see there. Yes. Yeah, I tried. I tried to create that, that account, but I couldn't. Uh, okay, I we are going to do that together on the Zoom live like this. Okay. Right. So, Mr. Okay. Ruzel, sorry yes. to come back. I want to come back to you. So, the EIDL, which mm -hmm. I was talking about. So, um, if um, when I put in all that thing for two thousand and nineteen, mm -hmm. um, the month by month, month by month. So, the next thing is then then you start your, you start from there. You're gonna start doing this, or do I do the application myself? No, over here, over here, when you give us the 2019, yeah. I can help to actually find the numbers that are going to go in here. But uh -huh. over here, I'm going to show you how we're going to spread those numbers the way that it will make sense. Okay. Okay. So let's go now on the spreadsheet now. Okay. Because over here, it's, okay. there's a fact that we already have those numbers over here because most of you guys send me the 2019 month by month. What we need to think about is this one right here to put all the month by month information there. And okay. Let's go to the spreadsheet here for this. This is what name I, no, this one. Uh, over here. Okay, Sanya. This is the person actually. Okay. That means this person made what? Um, you know, 215,000 a year, right? What okay, you, this is the breakdown right here. I already got this breakdown and I put it on the spreadsheet right here. You can see over here. You can see why this is the breakdown. Yeah. Right here. Now, this person made uh, actually less on 2019. Yeah. That means. 2020. No, this 2020 right here, but this is the report of 2019 that I got from him, 2019, okay? This is the sales 2019. I can actually put here, I can put here over here, uh, sales 2019, okay? And the total, the total of those sales was 1,068,650, uh, okay? Now, what's, what happened here is that if you look like this, this person should not be eligible for this 10,000 grand. Why? Because he made more money in 2020 than 2019, right? Yeah. Yeah. But now, if you don't have, if you don't have all the data 2019, because you guys don't keep your book, right? <laughs> you don't have the data 2019. Or even though you have your data, and your data are most of the time cash that are made by you, you chart, the first thing to do is to try to divide everything here by 12 to see what it will be. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna divide this by 12 to see what I get. I get something like 14,500. Uh, so 14,000. Let's just remove the uh, this. Okay. I have like 14,000. Let me make it bigger because I think it's maybe smaller. Uh, where's the zoom? 90%. Oh, it's supposed to be one more than 100%. There has to be more percent, like 125. Uh, 120. Okay. Over here is, is much bigger than it was before. But the first thing I want to show is that um, what I do is that I create uh, something, this thing right here. This is what I posted there that we start calculating uh it's a nine it's a c9 c9 right here over here this thing here start giving me the quarter all the quarter over here mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> it's giving me all the quarters so how do i get to those quarters basically i don't want to do it again but you just click over here and you add january to february over here, this is our January, February, March. You put them here. This is quarter one. And do the same thing here. It's quarter okay, two. Okay, the same thing right. here is quarter three. Okay. Over here, okay. is if you go here, you will see it adds from May 
uh, January, if it adds. Uh, May, June, June, July. Is that yeah, May, July? June, July. You see, yeah. May, June, July. Over here, we we'll add other months. Over August. Here, we'll add them. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let me see if it does, if it's good, because this is the toll here. This toll, okay, this toll should be able to be, uh, let's put toll here. If it doesn't give the, the good amount, we're going to do it together, the detail. That's this one, plus this one, plus this one, plus this. You see, it gives you the same toll amount right here, right? Mm -hmm. That means we have a good toll over here. Mm -hmm. Now, 2019, we don't have nothing right here. Okay, we don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is to take this 168, put it here, 168, and 168, 650, 650. What this table does, it also divides all of this in, in four quarters. That's why I told you we work in the quarter. We don't work in the month. That means over here, we have one quarter here, one quarter here, one quarter. So divide into four quarters. I put each of them here, okay? I put each quarter over here to see what we will have on the second quarter. Uh -huh. And from here, you can actually see when I divide this amount into quarters, what does it do? What does it do? You can see that this one is already 30% down. When you compare 29 and two and 40, and 29,000 and 40,000. 29,000 is 30%, is, is 12,000 less, right? 29,000 is 12,000 less, is, which is actually 30%. This one is what? This one is 27,000 uh, and this one is 42,000, which is 14% uh, 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 less. You see, those two months right here, the first quarter and the fourth quarter actually has a lot of income there. But in the middle here, this are 2020. That means the second quarter and the third quarter were the worst period for him. Yeah. Right? But the first period was very good. And after <laughs> that, when people start going out, they start eating even more. This is a restaurant. You see over here? But what I'm going to put in here is that once you divide all of this over here, once you divide all of this, all of this amount right here, we need to make sure that this one, two, three also matches what we have here. Okay, because we divide this into four. Let's go back here, down here, and see if I'm going to create this in, this again. The Q1 is going to be 2019. I said that we're going to take this amount, pull it, spread it all the way on, on this same over here. It was uh, one, four, uh, one, and 14. 14054. Okay. 14054. You're gonna put it here all over, all over. Okay, so you have it here. So you have the you have all the months here. Okay, when you have this like this, you now have to compare to see, uh, let me remove, let me remove all the, this calculation here. I remove this calculation. Then I add these real numbers to see if we're gonna add up. If they add up, now I can, ju I can just change a little bit this amount up and down, up and down, so that it's gonna match the same quarters. Let me, let me add you know, here, this is quarter one, Q1. Q1 equal to this plus this, plus this, equal to this. Oh, no. Give up equal to this, plus this, plus this. Okay, there's an increase over there. I'm not equal to uh, March, April, plus this, plus this. Okay, it's going to do the, it's going to give the same amount what we want to keep, we want to keep this amount right here, which was 45%. Remember, the, the, the third quarter was the quarter with the lowest, the lowest uh, income, income. The, third, the fourth quarter. So that's what we're going to keep. Uh, 
Uh, what is that? Um, January, February, March, April, May, June. Now it's July plus this amount plus this. Okay. Q4 uh, will be October plus November plus December. Okay. This is what we have. Now we're going to keep these three these numbers here. The numbers that we have on the Q3, we're going to make sure that it's around this number. So I'm going to go here because you don't have all the numbers have with you. And you cannot put just you cannot just put the same numbers. That means we will know that it's not just it's just not right. Just to let you know what we do when we try to make this thing to make sense. There's no way you can have the same amount every month. And you they know you don't have the numbers. What happened? People just guess numbers, right? And just put it in there. Of course, people are just going to guess numbers here. Why, why is that? Where did we left off? People are going to be uh, guessing. No, this, you see, this one was already submitted. This is one, one of the customers. It was submitted already. Okay, people are going to guess numbers over here. So whatever you're guessing the numbers, those numbers has to make sense. You have to add up. Those numbers has to be the total of the sales that you that you claim in your taxes, actually. Okay, don't just go, okay, how much sales did that make? You have to go into your tax because your taxes has your gross sales for 2019, at least what you claim that you made. So you have that to- will be, so, That will be on the one on the Schedule C, right? On uh, 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 what? Yeah, yeah. Schedule C, line one, yes. You go by what is on the schedule C line one. Don't just guess numbers because you're not going to match what you have on your schedule C, right? Yes. So what is on your schedule C should be this amount right here for 2019. You guys got have to pay attention for those that are going to do by themselves. That's what I'm explaining here because sometimes even if you want to us to help you, we might not have the time to help you. Right. So if you book an appointment, you're not able to, you know, to pick up your appointment, go and watch this and just see how you can do it by yourself. Okay. So um, so we put your name of the schedule C here. Now when I split it, now I have something here that I want to keep. This is where I, uh, this is where the, the, the increase or the decrease was highest. It's 30%. I can actually uh, you know uh, highlight it or pull it on board so that I know what I need to reach, the goal I need to reach. This is the goal here. Everything just need to gravitate or to, uh, around these numbers, okay? So over here, I can just do what? I can over here, uh, it's uh, uh, the Q3 start from where? From July. This is July right here. I can go over here and increase. I increase here by mid, by 1,000 and I decrease the other one by 1,000. It doesn't change anything. If I go here, I, decrease, I increase by $1,000. I put over here uh, 615 and I decrease this one by thousand dollars. It doesn't change nothing. Okay. If because I go here, you are, you, are, you, are, you are doing it in current, it will add up to the same amount. Yes. Over here, if I remove maybe this four, I remove this four right here is zero. And I put this four over here, it becomes eight. You see, this look like two different numbers, right? These two. <laughs> but nothing changed, right? <laughs> nothing actually changed, right? I cannot do the same thing with this one. Let me say, let's say that I remove, I increase uh, 1,000 here, or I, I remove, let's say I remove 2,000 here, and I, de I, I decrease the 2,000 on this one. I'm gonna increase 2,000 here. That means I move four, I put six. Oh, I put six here. Over here, I remove 2,000. That will be, I remove the 15, uh, it becomes three. Nothing changed, right? Over here, I can also remove this zero here and pull it here, right? I, if I remove zero here, this become, uh, or maybe I remove uh, two. And I put the same two here, it's not gonna be the same thing. I can remove 10 here and I put the same 10 here. Just change, think about what you remove while you pull it back. I remove 10 here, it will be four. I put the same four here, it will be what? 
six, right? So nothing actually changes. August, uh, uh, June, July, and August are still the same. June, July, and August. We are, which month are we working on? This the third is, quarter. Yeah. Uh, January, February, uh, April, May, and June. We are working on, yes, July, August, and September. That is good. So we still have the same 35% losses right here. Nothing changed. But you have different numbers here, right? So now we just do the same thing over here, do the same thing over here, do the same thing over here, and you're going to get the exact numbers, but you're gonna have, you know, over here you will have the increase, the, the decrease that you want to see. Okay, I don't know if everybody can follow what I'm doing here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we are following. Yes. So, yeah, so basically right. over here, over here, I can just, I can just over here, just add, I can just here, over here, just add 3,000. This one, I'm going to, it's going to be um, 14, uh, add 3,000, that is now 17, 17, uh, 0, 54, right? Over here, I remove the same 3,000, it becomes 11. 11, right? So this, it looks like two different numbers here. If I want to change this one, I can also change it. So now it's just up to you guys to see how you're going to change the numbers, okay? Over here, I'm gonna remove this four. I put it here, it becomes eight. I remove four here, this is zero. I put it right here, it becomes uh, eight. So you see, this looks like three different numbers. Actually from one all the way back to June, those are different numbers. Right, but I didn't do that much on it. I just changed some number, remove something, I put it back here, and they see that I have different numbers and didn't even change nothing in the quarters. It had the same quarters. The quarters didn't change, the increase or the decrease of each other stay the same. Okay, so over here, I go to uh, uh, April, uh, March, April, and May. I go to March here. What do I do? Maybe I increase, you know, I decrease by 4,000. That means this becomes 10. I put the same 4,000 here, this become 18. This become 18. Over here, now you don't even, if you don't wanna keep the same quarter, the same quarter, you can actually change this with this one. It's gonna be the same numbers, but it might be different quarters. The quarters will change. If I don't wanna keep, if I don't wanna keep the same quarter that we have here, you see the difference in terms of quarter? The first quarter, here has a 61% increase. Over here, you have the 30% decrease, 35% decrease. Over here, even 100% increase. So if I don't wanna keep it, I can just put any numbers. I can add here, remove here, add here, remove over here. How, the way I want to make it, okay? So I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna just work with this one, uh, change this with this one. So it's going to be what? I'm gonna remove, um, I'm gonna increase this by right, two. Right, uh, I have a question. Yes. Now, with Thank this you. chorus and the monthly income that we are doing, yes. now, on the ERDL application, you mm -hmm. have to declare a profit loss of 30%, right? On the application? Yes. You have to declare what? Uh, a, a profit loss of 30%, right? It's a, it's a decrease of the sales for one period okay. during the year. Yes. A decrease of 30% of a loss, right? Yes. So now, is it particularly it have to be a particular quarter or what? I don't understand. It has to be on any period. On any period, you can show that. Uh, they call it, uh, it's actually eight weeks. They call it eight weeks period. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eight weeks period is actually within one quarter. It's like two more, right? Right. But it's good to put that into one quarter. So let's say if the first quarter, mm -hmm. there was an increase and the second quarter, there was a decrease of 30%. Yes. And the third quarter, there was a, 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 an increase 
and, and the fourth quarter there was an increase. Do you qualify for the loan? Of course. That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> you qualify for the loan because look, over here you're making more money than your previous years, right? You're making more money here, but you can qualify if you can show during the year that you have made losses and they're going to, they're, they're, they're giving you money because they think that, or they're assuming that the loss is attributed to the COVID-19. Right. right. Right? That's how that's, that's how they're seeing this. And that's how you okay. need to keep in mind when you are completing uh, this part here, over here. So now we have all the numbers, right? I can actually, uh, you know, put this like this and put the other one like this. So we have them uh, side by side, right? So we can put the numbers in. Oh, no. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna start by, where is November, where is January? We, we're going to put January against January because those are actually January and January. We also have January and January here. So on, on January, 2020, uh, the first one here on top is 2020. You have to think about that. Yes. Over here, it will be 14, 2, 14, 5, 20. It will be 14, 5, 20, right? And for 2019, it's what? It's a lot of money. It's uh, 2019. It's also is... for 14. No, 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 14. no. It's 18. Uh, it's, it's 12. It's 12. 0, 54. Yeah. Okay. Or uh, for February now, 2019 is what? It's, uh, it's 18. It's 18, uh, 18, 752. And for February, this is February 2020, sorry. Now, February 2019 is what? It's 16, 0, 54. Now, for fiscal year March, this is March right here, it's 34, 10, 34, 4, 10, 34, 4, 10. 10. Over here, we have what? And 14, 14, 0, 54, 14, 0, 54. Okay, and uh, let's move this one so we can see. We can see uh, April. Okay, on April 2020, it's a 19, 19, 145. Okay, for uh, the other one is uh, 18, 0, 54. Okay, for May, it's uh, 5, 6, 56, 4. And it's also 10, 0, 54. Same thing for June. June is uh, uh, 4, 6, 5, 0. And for 19, it's a 14, 0, 54. Over here, it's a July. Over here, it's a July. Um, July is a 10, 4, 52. 4, 52. And uh, it's a 13, no, 13, 0, 0 60. And August. August, we have what? 9,450. 9,450. And we have here 13,060. Okay. And what do we have here? 0,060. And September, right? We are September right here. September is uh, 7,680. Uh, 1, 6, Okay, October is uh, 28, 9, 7. Uh, over here is uh, 14, 0, July, you made a mistake. July? July okay. uh, 2019 was, uh, July 2019 was, yes. Uh, good now? 13, good. yes. Got it. Okay, yeah. that's good. Thank you, guys. That means you are following. <laughs> yeah. So on November, we have what? Uh, 36, 8, 4, and 11, oh, 
And December is what? December is uh, 25, 25. 487. 487. 25, 487. And December is what? It's uh, uh, 7, 2019, it's a 17, 54. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, now- Bring the, bring the stream down. Can you bring the stream down? Let's see the whole, uh, this thing that I can screenshot it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. So the, the, the current year, we don't do anything. So now the current year, which is 2000, they want us to also provide 2020, 21, January, right? But mm -hmm. to me, uh, we can put any numbers because it's not based on anything. They won't base that to give you the money. They just want to see how your business is doing. If your business is picking up, you know, if on the on the fourth quarter you start making profit, they just want to see if you are continue to make profit. Uh, maybe uh, in 2021, you start making the losses again. So uh, the best, the thing they are going to look for is in here, those quarter over here, they want to try to see if there's any period over here when you compare them one quarter or any eight-week period, that can actually show a loss. And we know that we show that somewhere they will have around 35% losses in this thing right here. So over here, this is 2019-21. In December, we have 2000, December, we have what? We have we have this income right here. This is our in December income. It was uh, uh, 14,000. That's the reason why over here, we can also put something around the same number, right? You can put 14,000, uh, seven, so something to say, okay, it's, it's like constant, right? So we're going to put 14,485 again, over here, 14,485, 14,485. Okay, so the phone number, what is phone number? Uh, the phone number, okay, I'm not going to put this phone number here. Maybe it's share the phone number itself. So over here, we're done, okay? Once you just click here to certify that, okay, everything you put in here is good and stuff like that. Now you hit submit. When you hit submit, you get to this page right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, and then that's it. So you see that all the job that you have to do is in here, right, actually, okay? So what, whenever you put numbers here, I know people are going to click on the first page. You're gonna take them here. They're gonna be like, how much income did you make in January? They're going to start, make, you know, start making number that comes out of their head, <laughs> numbers there, uh, not knowing what it's going to mean. Yeah, uh, the, this webinar is to let you know that you have to be careful because a lot of people are going to put numbers over there that the numbers are not going to make sense and they're going to lose the money. They're going to call me to say, hey, what happened? I did this, I did that. When you guys put the numbers there, take a screenshot. This is how you take a screenshot. Just, just start to, to print it, okay? Just type control P on your computer. You can save this. You can actually save this. Look, I'm saving this in my, in my, in my, in my computer somewhere. Let's say I put it in this folder, uh, Stefan. Okay, I'm gonna put it on download page. You see, summary. Summary, yeah. And I yeah, said, but Russia, uh, according to what you just did on the ground, it looks as if most of the businesses uh, will look as if they were making more money on 2019 than 2020. Few businesses that will be showing that they are making money according to the graph that you just did, right? No, no, over here, they are not making money more in 2019 than 2020. This this person specifically is making more money in 2020, but they are so many. Yes. But, but they think that so many people were making more money in 2019 than 2020 because there's there's a pandemic in 2020. So they yes. just now want to see the magnitude of your losses. 
Right. Okay. If you are only making less by five percent or ten percent, then you're not you're not eligible. Right. <laughs> right. You're not eligible. If you are only making less, you're making less sales by maybe only ten percent or twenty percent, you are not eligible. And that is how a lot of people are going to see. Wow, those people are did this and didn't get the money. When you do that, did you check? If you cannot check for it, then hire somebody to do it. You have 10,000 on the table. I, I don't know. We like not to. Uh, so, my, so my question, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Ruzo, my question yeah. is, so uh, for me, I know the math, but yes. after I do all the tabulations, yes. 2019, 2020, I, I wanted to check it. I wanted to do it. Yes. So that's where you're going to come in because man, I don't want to ten thousand dollars on the table. I prefer to <laughs> to spend. I'm serious. Me, I prefer to spend four hundred dollars to get five to get ten thousand than to use my brain. And my brain is not work. No, but that is you. Some people have time. Some people have. That's why I'm explaining. That's what we do. And I'll show you how we come up with those colors that we compare to show you. Yeah. Uh, so because, uh, I'm gonna, uh, uh, because I'm going to do all the numbers by, by Wednesday, I should be done with all those numbers. But the yes. point is, if I do all the numbers, I still need you to, because you are the one that know about these percentages and that and all this stuff. So I don't want to, I don't want to bother my brain doing all that anymore. I just, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Am I making sense? You are making sense. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to do the numbers. I show it to you or I send it to you. Oh, well, anyway, you're going to see it anyway because on the Google doc document. And when you see it, then you're going to tell me, okay, Akinde, this is okay, this is not okay. Okay, this is how much I want to charge for the for my little services to okay it. That's it. It's better that way than I should use all my brain and I should not get it right. You know, so <laughs> I don't want to take that risk. Okay. Yeah, okay right. yes. So, yeah, I think this was a really long, long, long meeting. I didn't plan to do this long. Uh, yeah, it was you guys have seen what I wanted to share with you, right? Yeah. Because a lot of people, sometimes, it's, yeah, because sometimes, even though I, I do it, I tell you, okay, look, I need to do the number like this. Some people still don't understand. That's the reason yeah. why I say, okay, uh, let me just clear like this. That means even though you do it or I do it, you know what I'm doing because yeah. you know the right. effort that we are putting into it to make your numbers make sense, making sense. Yeah. Okay. So this is the reason why uh, I was just wanted to do this meeting here. And I don't know if you still have more questions before um, we say bye. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm good. You made you made our night. And of course, you did. Thank you, you did. for explaining, explaining it that, very well. That, that explanation was thorough. It was thorough. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> you are you are you are God sent. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. And. I see you. If you want to contact me, the best way, if you call, you don't have me, book an appointment or send me a text message. Okay. okay. Yeah, the best way is to book an appointment. Thank well, you, guys. See you tomorrow. When, when are you available? When am I available? I don't know. Look at my calendar. I don't know when I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, when I'm available. I can say tomorrow at 2 p.m. But I'll check my calendar. It's already take booked. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fine. So you guys should take my calendar. Just book. If you have a specific time, then you can call me to say, hey, listen, I check your calendar. I see uh, tomorrow 2 p.m. is closed. But how can I do it? Sometime I can do something. I can actually switch people. Yeah. Okay? Or maybe assign someone as someone I have to one of my assistants. So okay. I right. can be with you. Okay. All right. Yeah, you check the calendar if you see it's full because we have more calendar actually, but I'm the only calendar that shows up. So if because you, uh, I checked, I checked full. the calendar, I checked the calendar today, and it was telling me that you are not even available. At, I don't, I think to the end of the month. So <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. I check it. <laughs> so when I'm like, you know what? So in the process, I was, I was thinking in my mind, I'm like. I'm going to call him tomorrow. Then the moment, yes. And then, I, then I saw you doing the webinar. I'm like, you know what? I'm yes, just going. Of course. Yeah, we are booked. Like, uh, yeah, we are really booked. But if you space, you really need something. You call I'll, me. I, I know. Now I say, what time was was best for you? Now I can yeah take the person on my own calendar and mm. put it on one of my associate calendar, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
and then I put you in the place. Well, I know how to, I know how to get you. Don't worry, I'm your guy. <laughs> yeah, we are booked for the mall. Like, <laughs> I mean, we are booked for the mall, like you can see. Yeah, yeah. We are, there are so many things that we have to do. We still have to help people with the, the forgiveness. We are helping people with the PPP. Oh, I, got, I got a question. I got a question yes. with, the, with the forgiveness. Let's say somebody, for example, get like a $15,000 PPP loan. Yes. And you want to do the forgiveness. Yes. So when, I know it's after eight weeks. So when do the person call you? The person call you or like, what should the person, what should, what should the person prepare? What, how, what should I prepare okay. in my mind? What you need to prepare is first of all to have the loan numbers, the loan number and the date you receive the money. The day you receive the money was in your bank statement. Look on your bank statement. You will see when the money landed in your bank account. Okay. You need that date. And you also need your loan number. You don't okay. have a loan number, uh, call the person who did your application. If it's me, I will give you the number to call to get your loan number. Okay. That is basically the two things you need, okay? for us to do the forgiveness for you. Okay, loan number and the date it hit my account, which I'm gonna see in my statement. Yes. Those two things. Yes, those two okay. things. All right. And, and, and so, yeah. right, right, uh, what about those of us who are applying for the forgiveness? I mean, when are uh, they gonna uh, let us know that uh, it's forgiven? They have, they have, I think they have a number of months. They have many, many months. Like, I don't know, maybe say three months or no, 90 days. Uh, 90, 90 days. 90 yeah. 90 days. Yeah, to tell you. But once you apply, you're good because you have did your part. Okay. When okay. you apply, you're good. There will be takes when it's 90 days for people, it's going to take less, like two, 10 days or, three, or, or two, two weeks or, or so on. But you have to have process your application. Mm. Okay, it's just like the PPP that we apply, uh, Franklin. I don't know, Franklin, or, or we apply for PPP. You wait, it's they're still on the review. Some people text, see on the review for two days and they yeah. say it's approved. Some, yeah. people, some, people, some, people, for, some people, some people, weeks. some people, one week, <laughs> some people, one week, right? Yeah, so once you apply, you good. Okay, once you apply, you good, you just stay cool and just forget about that for now, even though they will send you the bank statement, statement of your, of your loan and stuff like that. You have done your part. That is what you're supposed to do. If you stay cool, you don't do nothing. Then, if you don't pay those debts, then you are missing. You are that's a missing payment. If so I want to ask. So I want another, another question. So let's say, for example, you get the loan. It hit your account today, for example. Yeah. So when is the forgiveness? <laughs> is it eight weeks after or eight months after? You did the money by the way. Hit your account today. The forgiveness should be a few. It should be done uh, eight weeks after you after you spend after the the, the the long period. Give me one second. So the, the question was that. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes, I can hear you. So the question was that. Let's say, for example, the loan hits your account today, which is um twenty second of February. Yes. When are you due to do the forgiveness? After eight weeks. From today, yes. Okay, okay. If you spend all the money, you cannot Mr. ask Roger. for forgiveness if the money went to your account. You put it in the saving account. You don't even touch it. So what do you have to do to the money? I told you already. You pay yourself every week. You should know how much you pay yourself. You have mm. to pay yourself. You have to pay for your phone bill. You have to pay for your electricity. So the, the bill that you use to use your own money to pay, just save your own money somewhere and start using this money. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so if you used to pay your rent with your, I don't know, by cash or whatever it is, yeah. when it comes to the end of the month, take your rent money, put it up somewhere, use this new money to pay for your rent. Okay, good. Right. If you do that two times, maybe the money doesn't exist no more. Right. <laughs> maybe it was only four thousand. It was only three thousand. Mr. Roger. Yes. This is Franklin. Um. We just did my forgiveness about yes. let's say about four days ago. Five yes. Days ago. All right. Yes. And then, if you are saying if the money hits your account, eight weeks you're supposed to apply for the forgiveness 
it, it is way overdue when we apply for the forgiveness. So how is it yeah. going to work? They say that when can you apply? Did you say when is the deadline to apply? That's oh, OK. All right. All right. Did you say when is the All deadline? Right. You say when when can you apply? You are the money you receive is a is a eight week, but eight week is the minimum. Mm -hmm. You have eight week. You also have twenty four weeks. Okay. After eight weeks, you you we use the eight week uh, formula to apply for your forgiveness. Mm. After twenty four more twenty four weeks, we use the twenty four week formula. There are two different formula. To apply okay. For now that you are explaining, because I don't want to be uh, uh, way overdue. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, some people still haven't applied for their forgiveness yet. So they could check in for me five minutes, John. Long five minutes, five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. I love you guys. Okay. Okay. So I think that was good. I don't see no more question. And yeah, okay. this is the best time to, to answer. One, one, one last thing. Okay. One last thing, Mr. Zell. Can you hear me, sir? Yes. One thing. So, um, the things that you use your forgiveness for. So every, say for example, you get ten thousand dollar for the loan, the PPP loan. So, and you want to um, do the thing in eight weeks. Um, the um, after eight weeks. So that means for those for those eight week period, whatever bill you are paying, you'll be taking it out of that account. That yes. that ten thousand dollar is. Yes. So the question I want to ask is that that um um what you call it that um that money is what kind of bills are you paying? I want to just have an idea. I just told you your own bills, your electricity, yes. your fund bill. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Those are the what main bills. What, what, what else? Okay. No car loan. No car loan. Why do you have to, the current is not listing there. It's not listing there. Okay. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Okay. The current is not listed there. But how do you your use your credit the card interest? Sorry? Your credit card interest, right? Your credit card interest. Yeah, you can pay for it. Credit card interest. Now, now, now they're increasing the money that you are spending to accommodate with the with the COVID. Maybe you you have a car, you have to invest money, you know, to separate the car. From to, not to be on contact with the passenger. That's the small money you're spending. How much you're spending for hand sanitizer? It can mm. go into it now. How much you're spending for, I don't know, spray, whatever you do, that it, you're doing now because of the COVID. Everything is included. If you're doing, the, you're spending those money because of the COVID. Maybe you spend money on glove or stuff like that. Yeah, whatever you're doing now, you okay. can actually and the, to the COVID. And the rent you are talking it. about, you, you can take the money out of the account in cash. For the rent, yeah, you can say that. Okay. Yeah, you can take cash okay. and pay for the rent. Yeah, okay. of course, you're gonna have the rent receipt. Um, supplementary question. Yes. Um, if you already had some amount in the in the account. Yes. So how how you how, how are you gonna know uh, which money you're taking out? <laughs> That's the reason why, if you can spend the money up to the amount that you put in the account, then it's good. It could be assumed that. But not in one time. If you put, if you put, uh, let's say three thousand dollars into that account. Of course, the, in the three thousand dollars, use that same account to pay for maybe for your car, for your rent, pay for your electricity. Use the same account to pay for this for that. Just keep doing what you used to do. It's good one is in uh, because they won't they won't be able to say okay did you, you didn't use the money, right? But most of the time, it's better to put it in the different account. That means okay, you can just yeah. remove it, right? And put right. it in your personal account and start right. doing whatever you want to do. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you are, what you are saying is that let's say, for example, I have a savings and a checking account. So if the money comes into the checking account, I can take that money out of the checking account, put it in the savings. Then whatever money I now need to pay my bills, I let's say I need out of the ten thousand, I need to pay a bill of. This month, three thousand. I take that three thousand out of the ten thousand in the savings. I put in the checking. No, I'm not saying that. If you if you have two accounts, put a bank put the money into a, a, a bank account that maybe you don't use most most of the time. Yes. Now, when when the money let's say is your is your uh, electricity or fund bills, the fund bill that the money that you have for your fund bill, just save it. 
in your bank account and go into that account, use it to pay for your phone bill. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right? Okay. It's, it's, it's just like you use the money to pay. For, now, if, if you want to use the money for a personal, personal thing, right? What do you do? The money you're supposed to do, uh, to do, uh, maybe you suppose you want you want to buy. No, I, I cannot explain it right here. It's <laughs> I'm explaining it in private. This money officially is supposed to use it for uh, for the thing that I just told you, right? Now, yeah, yeah. if you want to do something extra, maybe you can consult me to say, hey, uh, how do you do if you want to do this? I'm I'm in a financial situation like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just told you what. <laughs> what I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Right. I think that was good for today. Thank you, um, Thank you so much, bro. Thank no you. No problem, man. No problem. Anytime. This is gold today. Thank you very much. Yeah. You guys take care. All right. Thank you. Bye.